Welcome to Flare Primed. I'm Grant Coffey. Flare Primed is your go-to source for training, best practices, and checklists to help prepare you for a sea burning emergency. Sea burning events demand a slow down approach. You need to stop. You wouldn't shoot first and then aim. Stop is a way of realizing that the first few minutes of an incident scene are of critical importance. Chaotic emergencies shouldn't be an emergency for a well-trained first responder. S-T-O-P, stop, think, observe, and plan. The S is for stop. You need to stop and actually see the scene in front of you. Use the hazmat mantra, life, environment, and property, along with safety. The T is for think. You need to use your biggest assets, which are your brain, your training, your experience, as you try to mitigate a seabird scene. They're extremely chaotic, so a checklist, or a cheat sheet, if you will, can save the day. We have a download available at the end of this episode for a hazmat incident check sheet. This check sheet can help you avoid issues and let you focus on the scene in front of you. It helps you check the boxes and avoid the steps and to stay calm as you mitigate the emergency. O stands for observe. You must observe what's on scene. Examples would be patient numbers, symptoms, explosion type, gas cloud color, even smell, or could include placard colors and numbers, etc. And finally, plan. Plan is very important. Not having a plan is like being a rudderless ship in a storm. You've probably heard the adage, fail to plan, plan to fail. Well, having consistent and well thought out building blocks at a Seaburn scene helps you have a plan that will be a plan for success. A well-trained first responder always has a plan and a backup plan for every Seaburn possibility. This is all about good training and the muscle memory that provides to keep you, your team, and the public safe. Thank you for watching and be sure to keep coming back to flare.com for future episodes of Flare Primed.